a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> We're smelling the pumpkin. Good morning and happy October 21st. It is currently 7.32 in the morning. Blue and I are headed downtown Los Angeles so that we can do her sexy calendar photo shoot. Who's sexy me? Are you ready in it? I think I might take her to the D-O-G-P-A-R-K right now so that she can get all excited, but yeah. It's gonna be a long, fun day today. Oh my God, my voice is so bad. All right, got everything. Food bowl, snacks, toys, all the things. Let's get this shoot on the road. Hell yeah! We made it! <laughs> She's so excited. She's like, it's finally my day! <laughs> okay, we're just now taking the cover photos. <laughs> oh my god, blue. Look at you! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> We're gonna Photoshop out my finger because the hat kept rolling back, but oh my god. We were bribing her with her cock yeah. and a bacon. We got these from Target and we put, look at this little hat. It's a firefighter hat! She's 60 firefighter! This is a tour of the studio. Look at this. You're not gonna be ready. There's a big screen of blue. I'm like Regina George's mom. Yes! I'm like recording her. Yes! Oh, it's a good girl. You nailed it, baby. Our next set is this month, October. Look at this. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I think we're gonna put blue like right here. Blue, may the force be with you. You don't want your lightsaber? Guys, blue's birthday is May the 4th, so she's a Star Wars baby. We have a little Yoda outfit. She's like, I'm a little embarrassed. A little embarrassed. Do 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 do. I am uh, my puppy. Oh my god. Blue, why are you trying to kill me out here? I didn't vlog it because I was really in the moment, but in order to get Blue to smile, she has to run or she has to like play or play fetch or something because she has to pant. So she didn't feel like playing fetch, so I ran outside in the freaking so hot and we got her to pant. It took three times. Third time was the charm. I'm literally panting more than she is. She's not even panting anymore. You should have seen the reaction of everyone. We were all like, yeah, she's panting. <laughs> Blue and I are both tuckered out from being in the sun, being hot, panting. Mimi is such a good girl. We just finished June and July. They're, so, they're literally like hot girl summer. But yeah. When's the bathing suit one? Do you know when the bathing suit one is? It's the last one. The last one? Hot girl summer is the last one. But for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna put on some red lipstick and kiss her all over her face and that'll be her little picture. Oh my God, this is the summer one, June. <laughs> Mood when I see Chipotle. We're setting up the props. It's saying free kisses. <laughs> okay, we're adding the free kisses. Free is right over here. It is time for my roll, which is the kisses. Mm. God. <laughs> okay, basically, <laughs> we were taking photos, everything was going good, and then I don't know why Blue all of a sudden felt the need to go up to you and be like, blah, blah, blah. She's like, why are you not giving me free kisses? The sign says free kisses. He was literally, I feel like you're on your phone. Like you're just like chilling. And she's like, excuse me. But this is the final image. I literally think that this is like a Netflix poster. This looks so good. She's like walking into it. What a good girl. Do you want me to wipe off the lipstick? Want me to wipe it off? I always, I always do this to her. Whenever I wear lipstick, I forget. And then she has lipstick all over her. Usually mauve though, or like a nude. So it's not this crazy. All right, let's remove this. I have baby wipes. You want me to remove it? She's long wearing. Oh my god, I put so much on. Mm. We love Sephora. She really stains the lips. Blue, I need to wipe it. Baby, you can't have lipstick for the rest. Only Valentine's Day. I know, I know. We're cleaning each other. I don't know, this is a little TMI for you too. We almost got all the lipstick off. You've been a star. We only have three left, baby. Oh my god. All the kisses are off. Now we're gonna show that dual citizenship. We love that dual citizenship. I wish I had that dual citizenship. We did some shopping shots of peanut butter and I was thinking if you like peanut butter and you know it like your nose we got some licking nose shots <laughs> Woo! 
Next up is Easter, and then we have our final one, which is Hot Girl Summer. You crushed that one. That was like literally 10 photos and it was perfect. That was perfect. You want to show them? So cute. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I made, I put the treat right in front of her. She was so good. And I was like, good girl. And then she had it. She's like, girl. Now we're on to the last photo, which is August Hot Girl Summer. Hey. Yes! Hey. <laughs> Alright, we're setting up Hot Girl Summer. Blue and I are gonna go outside for a little bit of a walk and get our blood flowing, get the juices flowing, get the panting happening. Okay, girl, baby. Just sunbathing. Having a good time and sunbathing. <laughs> You're a good girl. Good girl, baby. Hot Girl Summer. That's a wrap. Now you're all happy. <laughs> oh my god, that one's kind of funny. She's like, you looking at my booty? Just snort, snort, that's a wrap. Everyone from Matter Media is here. I wanted to show them my favorite one, which is Valentine's. What do you think? Oh. Ah. Also, I completely forgot to mention this in the vlog, but Blue's sexy firefighter calendar is going to be available on adolamore.com, hopefully in stores by Black Friday. So like this upcoming month, she's gonna be eight and a half by 11. She's gonna be so cute. You're gonna go, ooh, go through the year 2020 with Blue, all pictures of Blue. <laughs> and we're gonna have like two little pictures in it besides ones that we chose today. Little like quotes of the month, fun little things. I think it's, it's such a cute calendar. Oh well, yeah, Black Friday, adolamore.com. Oh my God. The devil. There's firefighters here. Oh my god. Made it home. I dropped blew up at the apartment. I got here almost the same time as my postmates. That's one thing that makes living in LA so much better than living in Toronto. Well, at least where I live, there's no postmates. Postmates is live. Ah! There's no sweet green in Toronto. Sweet green. Girl, normally I don't like salad, but sweet green, it just hits different. Is the princess over here? Oh, there she is. If you're lucky, you can have some chicken. Blue's photo shoot could not have gone more perfect. She was a star. She knew to look at the camera. An absolute icon. Okay, so you know the salad that I always make? This is it. It's based off of this. It's called the Hollywood Bowl from Sweet Green. <laughs> Life. Life, I tell you. I stir it up. Add the sauce. Man, I asked for bread and they didn't give me bread. She good. Want some? That was so good. So basically now the blue shoot is all done. We have some relaxing time. Kind of not really. I'm about to go see Eliza with Alex. It's with Secret. Secret deodorant. They're sending us and I'm so excited. We saw Eliza in Toronto and she's like so amazing live. I don't know what it is. She's just her energy, her bad bitch energy, her self-love talks, her talks in between her songs, even just performing her songs, her dances. I'm like, oh, her twerking. She's an icon. I don't know how I'm still awake. I went to sleep at two in the morning last night because we went to Halloween Hot or Halloween horror nights in universal studios we literally ran into bb rexa on our way out but she is literally one of my like icons her and like ariana and selena miley oh my god they're just my faves i feel like i'm pretty chill actually i'm not pretty chill i take that back i'm like a fangirl but i pretend to be chill <laughs> lizzo j-lo they're the queens and i will fangirl over them but yeah we saw her yesterday and she was so sweet she was so nice she asked me she was like are you a stylist i love your outfit i was like oh my god uh, me? Uh, I was like, thank you. <laughs> Seriously, so sweet. I'm in love with her. And yeah, I think it, I'm gonna try to take like a little bit of a nap and then head over to Lizzo. Hey, I go out of my room to do my hair and I walk in and I couldn't find Blue, but she's right there. Normally she lies down on the bed, but she's right here. All right, baby, we're gonna go see Lizzo. All right, I feel like you wouldn't like it. It's too loud. Too loud for your little ears. I mean, your big ears. I'll see you later, okay? Have some good rest. That was a very good calendar shoot. Everybody's gonna love it. <laughs> Available on adelamorn.com, December 2019. 2020 blue sexy firefighter calendar. <laughs> okay, I'll let you take a nap. This is blue after we spend one full hour on TikTok. Have a good nap. I love you. We said bye to the baby, but before we head to the concert. But first, boba. Of course, we're to go to Honey Boba because it's all yellow inside. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Baby Bob. She got a back entrance.
Sandwich is finished. Six loads of laundry, which we have to fold on Aaron's day today. Right, Blue? Oh my God. Baby, this is why we don't roll in the mud. Oh my God. I just got back from the car. I like sat in the car for like an hour just trying to process what just happened. Okay, wait, let me put you down for a sec. Oh my God. Let me start from the beginning. I basically, I go to the dog park. You guys saw the clips and I love going to the dog park because Blue has so much fun. We play fetch and like I was on my phone. I was like doing, getting work done, like getting my emails, whatever. And then, I mean, I feel like I was there for like an hour. There were about like four or five people there, four or five dogs. Like not that many people were at the dog park right now. And uh, sorry, I'm like processing it in my mind, but I, like I can't put it in words. Basically, I'm playing fetch with Blue and then I'm like, you know what? Time to go home. So I pack up my stuff. I have like my Starbucks. I have my, my food. All that was left was like a little cake pop. I have my phone, my keys on my way to go to the car. So I stand up and I think Blue and the German Shepherd, there was a German Shepherd there. It was just like playing, like roaming around the dog park. And then the German Shepherd goes up to me and like smells my vagina. Okay, I was on my period, right? Blue and Lola do this. Like it's totally normal for your dog to smell your vagina when you're on your period. They just like, they it's just smelly. It's like there's blood literally in my vagina. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. And then it like, he does it longer than Blue and Lola normally do it. Like normally it's like five seconds and then it's like, they're done. They get it. You're on your period. But this dog was like obsessed. The German Shepherd was like, literally I'm, I was wearing this shirt. So I had like my red shorts underneath, but they're like baggy. So she, he was trying to like go underneath my shorts and like smell or lick or whatever my vagina. And I was like, oh my God, okay, this is a little too much. This dog's being a little TMI right now. So I like, I grabbed the collar and I try and pull it away from me. But the dog obviously is a German Shepherd. But I did notice that one of the ears were down. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's a puppy. But it was like a full grown German Shepherd. And I'm like trying to pull it away so that it's not like licking me because it was like getting uncomfortable at this point and then I couldn't because he was so big that he was like 60 70 pounds I don't know and he was like really strong he really wanted to get up in there so I'm like oh trying to hold it back and literally the the owner is nowhere to be seen so the dog like keeps he goes around me he goes in a circle he like sniffs up there and I'm like oh my god this is so uncomfortable I'm like circling around too because I'm trying to like hold the dog and then I noticed one of the ladies I think one of her dogs in, was in the dog park she notices that I was like getting uncomfortable so she came over here she's like hey are you okay and I'm like yeah I think I'm okay. I just have my period, so I think the dog smells it. So she comes over, and thank God, like, literally bless her heart. I don't know what I would have done if it wasn't for her. She grabs the dog, and she, like, just pulls it away. And I'm like, oh, my God. That was a lot. That was crazy. I also, I forgot to mention that, like, while the dog was sniffing me, and before the lady came and, like, pulled it away, the dog started, like, opening his mouth and, like, going like this. Like, kind of, like, doing little baby bites. And, like, okay, Lola does this. Like, I feel like it's, like, the dogs are teething, but it was so uncomfortable because because the dog was literally biting like on my thighs near my vagina and like you guys like if you're a woman like that's a sensitive area so it hurts and like I have some scratch marks but I'm not gonna show you because it's like literally on my vagina there's literally pubic hair <laughs> but, like it was so uncomfortable finally the owner comes over he's like oh my god I'm so sorry I'm like it's fine I'm on my way out so I I started walking towards the gate to leave the dog park blue follows me and this owner this dog Let's go of the dog before I leave. So the, the dog literally is running towards me and then bites me again. And I'm like, oh my God, this guy is literally so dumb. And then the owner comes over here and he's like punishing the dog. He's like, no bad. And I'm like, it's not the dog's fault. Like it's literally your fault. Just hold the dog until I get out. <laughs> I don't know. It just baffles me how bad some dog owners are. Like if you can't control a big dog or if you can't train a big dog, like take care of a big dog, make sure a big dog isn't putting other people people's lives in danger like don't have one you don't like like he could have a, a loving family that can train him anyway so I leave the dog park and I literally I'm so shooken up I literally just sit in my car for like an hour and I'm like that literally just happened and I'm like just looking at my like making sure that everything's okay and like I text Matt and I'm like making sure that I'm okay he's like you should go to the emergency and I'm like I literally just have scratches like it's not a big deal but it was like I don't know that was a little shooken up because that never happened to me like I played rough with dogs before like dogs have played rough and like I have experienced like like Lola like lightly bites me on my arm or like she's teething or dogs like jump up like I get it but like when you're at the dog park a dog shouldn't be like all up in your business and like biting you and like in up in your business and like it wasn't like a Lola bite where it was kind of light it was like he would like grab and like pull a little bit I don't know and it was like little ones like he would go like 
I don't know. But yeah, I feel like like they're literally they're not even bad. They're like little scratches, but that has never happened to me before. PSA: Be careful going to the dog park on your period because there's bad owners out there. And I don't want to hear any comments being like, if you're on your period, don't go to the dog park. What? But anyway, I have some laundry that I want to do. I have to fold all of these clothes. They're all done. I want to get my nails done because I have a huge nail biting problem. And after that thing, I like literally I bit them to the like what do you call it? The root of the nail? I don't even know. And it's starting to hurt. So I'm gonna head over to the nail salon right now because it closes in an hour. Maybe gonna do an unboxing later. We'll see. Little get a little crazy, but yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to say my experience because that was I've never experienced something like that before. Blue likes it when I have clothes laying around everywhere. And also, Matt and like my friends that I've told this to were asking me, they were like, How is Blue reacting to it all? And Blue literally could not care. I actually, you know what? I didn't even really see her. I feel like she was over on the side over there, but she didn't bark or anything. She like had her ball, she was like, <laughs> Like, I feel like she was just, I don't even know what she was doing. Blue, you're an emotional support dog, not a guard dog. <laughs> Went to the nail salon. Baby, you like my nails? They literally match yours exactly. We literally have the same nails. Isn't that so fabulous? It's so fabulous. Whoa. For dinner, we're thinking of going to Olive Garden, which I'm like, oh. Also, I don't know what it is. I love <laughs> random nail salons. Like, I don't know what it is. I think just reminds me of home. <laughs> like, yeah, the bougie ones will do it better, but it's more expensive. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just like them. Come on. <laughs> She's like, I'm ready to go to Olive Garden. Oh my God, I forgot. Blue! Forgot you made a mess. I forgot to clean it up. Sorry. Alex is sitting in the back. Hello. <laughs> Olive Garden and Target, here we come. We're such Canadians. There's no Olive Garden or Target in Canada. And I we know. are like obsessed. Normal people will like not be excited to go to Target and Olive Garden. And we're like, oh my god, Target, oh my god. <laughs> Made it to the mall. Oh my god, Anastasia has the best shimmers. Look in the Carly Bible palette in Ulta and like, like I really want to get it. I think the color that gets me is Mandela. This like purpley blue. Blue shopping too. <laughs> Which one smells the best? Baby, look. She got a little thing on it and everything. What is this thing called? A little sensor. Nobody gonna steal our palette. Uh-uh. It's like she knows. Blue, whose palette is this? Whose palette? It's yours. It's yours. We made it to Olive Garden and they're so nice. They're letting Blue stay with us. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the shrimp scampi. Ooh, she sound good. With the breadsticks, Oh, she sound good. I don't know a drink, probably just water. And the dessert, I'm looking at one, but I don't know. Sometimes at the end of it, you're like, I'm too full. Oh, hell, yes. Mm. Yes. How is it? Is it comfy? Can I comma and say that it's comfy? We went to Riley Rose in Ulta and I got a couple things. I got like Morphe from Ulta and hair clips from Riley Rose. Now I don't even know what I want at Target, but Target tells me what I want. Halloween. Blue smelling the pumpkins. Her favorite fruit. Which, did you know that pumpkins are fruits? I always thought they were vegetables. They're fruits because they have seeds. Isn't that crazy? We're talking about that at dinner. Oh no. Kind of going insane. I'm at a Target high. Baby, around the pylon. Come on, around. There you go. Do we need a loofah? Yes, we do. Do we need exfoliating sugar cubes? I know. No, 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 no. You just sold me. I think we should add to the card. <laughs> Wait, how much is it? Is it expensive? It's, no. Oh. It's literally so good. It's so worth it. You really like it. What do you think? It's a huge skincare secret. Yes. Alex went on a whole spiel. He showed me the reviews. <laughs> Really good. <laughs> you need a discount code. Swipe up. <laughs> Literally, I'm an ambassador here for Amazon. We need rose water? Okay. Blue, do we need home decor? I know we don't. I know. I know. Maybe tissues? Oh, garbage bag? Yes. Oh my god. Do I get almond milk or oat milk creamer? Alright, the thing is, hazelnut tastes better, but oat milk is the better, is the superior milk. Wait, I think I'm gonna get snickerdoodle. My poop's about to be so lonesome. Eggs and bacon? Yeah, yeah. Do we need foodles? I know we don't. Great. Okay. Oh my god. Look at these little pumpkins. They have little floofs. Look at this one. It's a little yellow floof. <laughs> look at No, you know what it looks like? The trolls. Oh my god. Doesn't it look so like right. the trolls? So Let's get one. Oh my this is so cute. How are we going to bring this back to Canada? No, for decoration. Oh, I'm like. <laughs> We're here to the 29th. <laughs> Alright. I like the cat the best. 
No, this is my mood. Wait, this is That's me. That's blue when you say D O G P A R K. Me after a day. Me doing after nothing. Olive Garden. Me after doing nothing, watching Netflix. You like my pumpkin? You did. Just bought it. Blue, you see what I see? Pumpkin spice mochi ice cream. Yes. Heart has been <laughs> stuck. So, stuck. <laughs> so you have to carry your stuff to the car. Wow, our car cannot move. Wow, our car cannot move. She went like stuck. <laughs> she went. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you want to move? I don't. What a coincidence! Oh my god, it's like almost midnight. It's 11:50. We are what going we insane. Do? We love you, Riley Rose. Wow, you can really navigate. Wow, you can really navigate. She goes boom, 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 blue. You're Pain. making Alex sit in the back of your seat. I also started with my mom. Met my dad and created a very emotionally unstable human being that's been living for 21 years. Hey, I'm Adeline, and my life is kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm addicted to TikTok. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I completely forgot to end the vlog, so I'm gonna end it right now here. You see the alphabet I am box for tomorrow's vlog. Or wait, no, it was yesterday's vlog. Sorry, never mind. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's tip of the day goes to Adeline Warren Edits on Instagram. That's her. She just tagged me. That's how you become tip of the day and merch out of the day. Her tip of the day says, keep your eyes lifted high upon the sun, and you'll see the best light in everyone. Today's merch shot of the day goes to Doobie C on Instagram. And of course, Joe Set. I literally can't with this girl. Dang, your guys' edits are so good. Kylie wearing the merch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and edits XOXO Beep Up Adeline on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for buying the merch. Supporting girls, supporting girls. Oh my god, supporting girls, supporting... Okay, sorry. This is my crackhead hours. I don't know what's happening. That was me at Target. I don't know what's happening. But I hope you guys are excited for the blue calendar shoot. The calendar will be available in December on AdelineWarren.com. Don't forget about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. I'm so excited for the calendar. I like, I literally designed all of the colors for the bottoms of it. And we're gonna have little emojis and like little fun pictures and like little QR codes for like secret surprises and like little tips of the day for the month or tips of the month. This calendar is like the cutest thing ever. And I'm so excited for you guys. Don't buy any calendars. Buy the blue calendar. <laughs> Save your calendar money. Buy it on adelinemorn.com. But anyways, I love you guys. Have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. I see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow. Same place, same time. Bye. <laughs>